Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come on back tomorrow. It's an exciting day. Sarah got up earlier than she usually does mm -hmm. to edit the vlog. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go see James. I'm not gonna see him. You're gonna hear I'm him. I'm gonna hear him. Um, I'm working away, and today is cast member preview for Magic Kingdom and Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And Resort TV One is live streaming, so I have that in the background while I work. Um, super, <laughs> super. He just slunked on the ground as Sarah left. She always gets so sad when one of us leaves, but it's so cute. Alrighty, so the doctor's appointment went really well. It's 12.30. Um, I've heard that the doctor goes late a lot. And I really wasn't in the waiting room for that long. Um, but overall, he just does a really good job of answering all your questions and really taking his time with you. And so even though I was there for two hours, like I feel really well taken care of. And I think that's gotten better over time because I don't know if you remember my first appointment or not, um, but the wait was really anxious for me. Um, and it still is, but just now that I know that like I'm getting like such individualized care, like it really does help and he answered all my questions. I had a lot of questions for like further down the line. Um, and even though we're, you know, just over halfway through the pregnancy, he still, you know, took all of the time to answer those questions. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything specific. He really just said that um, the baby was moving around like crazy. That's like what the, the static was. I don't know what I'll include in um, the video or not, but there was a bunch of static because he was moving around a ton. He actually was like, he's, he's wild in there. Um, but this is around the time where he typically is moving. Um, and oh, I get to do the glucose test within the next two weeks, which is when you go and you drink this really sugary drink to test if you are at risk for gestational diabetes. And um, I'm a big sweets person. People have said that I'm actually gonna enjoy it. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll probably um, go sometime this week. And then I have another appointment in four weeks, just another checkup. I won't have another ultrasound until like I'm past 30 weeks um, so yeah just a good solid visit feel good about my questions and about how I'm feeling and everything is good um, so yeah that's I think that's like something that we've had to get used to is good visits oh gosh I missed it Peter had her all crazy hi I'm home She's wearing a snuggle bug. I'll do it again. Okay. I put her in the pit. Uh -huh. I rub her. And sometimes she relaxes. <laughs> you cutie pie. Tia doesn't like it right now. Did you sleep the whole time I was gone? She did. She missed you. She did go, girl. We, oh, it's past five o'clock. Um, right? Is it past five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, Peter's about to sign off. I am going to make some plant-based mac and cheese. It's the first time I'm gonna try making it with actual cheddar cheese slices that are plant-based. Um, I already made the pasta and I'm gonna show you and you can make this plant-based or you can, it's the same ingredients but not if you aren't. But maybe you'll try it. So we just bought this yesterday. It was on sale at Publix for two bucks, which is a huge deal when vegan butter actually costs the same as normal butter. Um, this is the olive oil version, but country crack, and it's really yummy. This is the same pot I made the pasta with, um, but probably like equivalent to half a stick, just spoon that in, and I'm gonna make a roux with probably like equal parts flour. Okay, so here is how the roux looks and then you just want it to get like keep stirring until it gets bubbly um, but you don't want it to burn she will use the almond butter unsweetened no um typically i would like oat milk 
but it's I use it all. It's a little bit like super savory. It's okay. I'm not using a measuring cup. About half cup. A little bit more than that. Uh, stir, stir, stir. That's the whole thing. You gotta keep stirring. You're nuts. It'll get thicker. Hopefully, I didn't put too much in this. I think I put too much in. I think I put too much. Um, so, let that be a lesson to you. I just kicked the heat up, and hopefully, it'll get hot, and then it'll maybe thicken up a little bit. Hopefully, it'll be okay. I still have the cheese to add, so that'll help with the creaminess. Okay, I put two slices of cheese in. I'm folding it in gently. And actually, this is looking good consistency-wise. I had to switch burners because that one got too hot, um, but I added in just a dash of salt, garlic, and pepper, and now I'm gonna add in like a quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast. Here is where you would use like Parmesan cheese or Romano cheese um, if you are not doing it vegan style. So I ended up doing like double the nutritional yeast I said, so like almost a full cup actually, um, and added in another slice of cheese um, and more pepper just to give it a little bit more spunk. And the consistency is really good now. I did add a tiny, tiny bit of water because it was like getting a little too creamy and I have a whole pound of pasta. We're not gonna eat it all tonight. Um, but that's why I made so much sauce. So take a look. Here is the consistency. Our toaster is smoking and I don't know why. Be so careful. Ooh! Ooh, Ooh la la. That looks heavenly. And then we got little tomato bagel sandwiches. I layered up one of mine with a bunch of smoked <laughs> peppers, don't mind me. Oh gosh. This looks like divinity. So I said, let's take a 10 minute break. She's out. She's out. So it looks like it's gonna be a cozy night in. I think I'm gonna watch episode three of Chernobyl. We stopped watching it after we heard there was an incident with the dog, but I think I'm gonna keep watching it. But whenever that happens, I'm going to quickly pass it. Look who's awake, look who's awake, look who's awake. Look, my hair. who's awake? <laughs> Someone woke up and is eating some mac and cheese. You know. How was your nap? It was good. Solid three hours almost. No. Yeah. I've been awake a while. So it was six o'clock to 9.30. Oh gosh. So it was three and a half. <laughs> and I just finished the last three episodes. It was longer than an hour. Okay, so I, I think it was two and a half because I had like one left episode left of time. So I finished the last three episodes, which means I watched more than half this series tonight. Really good. I've done a lot of research on Chernobyl, and it's super sad and super interesting. P.S. I skipped the whole like 10 minute section about the dogs. If you've seen the series, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, don't think about it. And now, before I eat a bunch of pickles and do some dishes, because I don't want them to go too crazy. New Age Little Women. 94% Rotten Tomato ratings. I think it deserves a 96. <laughs> I love this cinematography. Start from the beginning, y'all. What are you gonna do? Oh, my name is Sarah. <laughs> so I meant to do this yesterday because we ate the last of our jambalaya leftovers yesterday. Oh yeah, we did. Pipe down. Um. My name is Sarah. Stop. I'm a cooking channel. Um, but I just wanted to point out, like. Saute with Sarah. Stop it. <laughs> I, we got those groceries two weeks ago and I made five different meals, maybe a couple of things in between and also we did go out to eat at Beaches and Cream and Kona Cafe, but that was breakfast. This was really dinner centric. Um, but anywho, I kind of wanted to share like that grocery list because I thought that it was really cool that we only spent like 50 bucks on groceries that week, which is really low for us, but it still like lasted us for two whole weeks. So if you remember, two whole weeks ago, I made oh. the mushroom pepper steak, not actual steak, but with mushrooms. I also made chili, which lasted, how many days did we have chili? Like four, five four, days? days. Um, we did end up getting the hot dog, so maybe we spent like 
a little closer to $70. Um, but the, the hot dogs were kind of an added bonus. Um, the mushroom asada tacos, the coconut Thai curry veggies, and then the jambalaya. And I really, I think I did a good job of sharing each of those recipes. If not, I linked them in those videos. And so in this description, I'll either link the video or link the recipe I used. Um, and if you're interested, I can go into more detail about the grocery list. Is that something that you might be, I mean, something that like we could potentially show in the future, like where we grocery shop or how much money we spend on groceries compared to the food that we make. Um, I, I like vlogs like that. So if you're interested, let us know. And hopefully our next, that was just like felt like really successful. And so hopefully our next grocery shop, I can be just as intentional and share it again. Did you like all of those meals? Like they were all I like. I loved every single one. Yeah. I would eat them all. They like were all really good. Out. I do like think that like we ate a decent amount of like huh? rice. And so like I'd be interested to figure huh? like more veggie side dishes. Um, I loved them all. But overall, like I was pretty proud. Um, I'm, we got to give credit to Expedition Theme Park, but they just tweeted, if you just tweeted, uh, Holland Horror Nights website has updated the warning for visiting the event. Previously, it stated no masks allowed. Now, no costume masks allowed. Ooh. So that still gives me a little hope that something still might go down on Halloween Horror Nights 30. Have you guys noticed we've had that boppy pillow out a lot recently? We're trying to get Eve used to some baby stuff. She's also about to yell at me for some reason. Are you fierce? Are you ferocious? What's wrong? You're like a teenager with your deep sighs. <gasps> Guess what responsible time it is? 12.48 in the morning. But Sarah took a nap and I, we ended up watching, she didn't take another nap, I was saying she took a nap earlier. But we ended up watching all of Little Women 4.0. So it's time to do the message and get this, look at this look. This little sleepy, this little sleepy girl who brought a little piece of food over to her, near her bed for a late night snack. What are you stressed about? I'm gonna go do the message and then I'll come get you, okay? Um, July 7th. Tuesday, July 7th by Maya Angelou. When people show you who they are, believe them. I dig that a lot. If you didn't know, if you didn't know, Sarah and I drove Route 66 for our honeymoon. And this is Mickey and Minnie in, as salt and pepper shakers in a car. Are you used to our new room yet? I know, I keep on going to go in that room to like, <laughs> get stuff. <laughs> Eve just laid down and got very comfy where I, exactly where I sleep. <laughs> um, I pulled back the sheet and everything so she could sleep in my feet like she usually does. And what she do, she, I put her there, she stood up, Walked over to the middle of where I sleep and just laid down. So I'm sleeping on a couch tonight, apparently. <laughs> you know, girls, she'll move. girls slumber party. You know, she'll move. What are we doing tomorrow? Um, I don't know, but we should do something fun. We're 24 weeks tomorrow. That's a big deal. Yeah, we should go to um, Disney Springs or Micron Salt or something. Don't say that. Our favorite brew burger, brew burger is there. with the beer cheese is now on their everyday menu instead of just their special that so like... So we should go there and then follow up with Disney Springs afterwards. Oh my gosh, that would be a treat. Because we haven't been going out to eat after appointments like we used to. And tomorrow's 24 months. 24 weeks. <laughs> 24 months. <laughs> elephant. Oh wait, and it's even more of a big day tomorrow because a year ago all of our embryos were conceived. And so our... Our, all of the our double, babies are a year, <laughs> are a year old. All of our babies are a year old. And we're 24 weeks viability. Yes. That just means if something happened and James had to come out of Sarah's belly, he could make it by in a NICU. Mm -hmm. They would do whatever it took to yeah. to make it happen, to make it Yeah, I like okay. the I like the sound of them. It's good to be home. I'm going to dream of <laughs> sugar plums. <laughs> I'm going to dream of fake Beer fake. burgers. It's not really fake. It's just alternative. It's good to be home. Good. You didn't say it. I said it before. It's good to be home. <laughs> we know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>